So I'm here with uh, Abhijit from Digitate at Tata Consultancy Services Venture. Um, Abhijit, fantastic to have you join us. Um, tell us how you're getting on, how are you finding the show? I think this show is very uh, exciting. Things are just started to get uh, heated up, I would say, right now. Uh, we had this first uh, keynote that we started and we got a lot of uh, response from people. So everybody is just coming, seeing, uh, visiting our booth and a lot of interaction happening. I think we are looking forward for the remaining one and a half day. Absolutely. So we had Dr. Harik Vin present the opening keynote earlier on. A lot of great feedback from that. We also have tomorrow the, the presentation on StreamEye. Um, so looking more of a deep dive into how the application of Igneo really works. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, I think most of the uh, people are want, do know the ideas, like how is AI, what is cognitive, what is neural. What people want to know is how is it really going to work in my environment, how real it is. Because for many of the technologies, people think that is it just a fad, a new thing that is coming or is it really real? Can I use it today? And the next question is people want to know what is it that I need to do to be prepared to adopt this technology. And I think that's where our attempt is to say that, yes, this is technology for today and we can help you to be prepared in terms of adopting it. And that's why we want to take a real life example and want to show people as to how this really works. So that would be the whole idea behind it. So we are going to also show the demo of the product. So apart from just talking about the concepts, we want to actually show model and application and show how we Igneo detects the anomalies and how it is able to fix it. So that's going to be the key, uh, you can say, aspect of this particular session. You're getting a lot of interest, I think, from what we've seen through Harrick's presentation. You're going to get more interest tomorrow. What sort of conversations are you having with the enterprises that are here? I mean, there are many, many different verticals that are represented. What are the sort of conversations that are going on? So I think what is happening, interestingly, which is very good for this whole industry, is that uh, with this kind of thing, it is kind of getting legitimized. So these are no more science experiments. And people are definitely want to know how these ideas can go forward. And from that perspective, when it comes to IT, and we are primarily in the IT operations world, and IT operations world is generally lives in N-1, N-2 area. Uh, people still want to uh, go with the older set of technologies, and there's, for right reasons, uh, there is hesitation in terms of adopting newer technologies, unless you are in a particular industry. But the key question is, uh, here people want to understand in IT operations side, how are you going to use artificial intelligence? Is it really there? What kind of problems do I see to solve? How is it going to help me address my customer experience? How is it going to help increase the overall resilience of my IT? These are the key questions, because everybody understands by doing automation, efficiency is table stakes. And that is something which is always there. But what beyond that? How do I become relevant to business? How do I become predictive rather than being reactive? That's the kind of conversation that we are uh, hearing today. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, look, we look forward to this stream, my presentation. Um, and thank you very much. Good luck for the rest of the event. Thank you.